Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. Uh, so I was just going around the open world here. I was trying to get some clips for a special video I'm going to be doing, which is a review of the game, uh, which I think might already be up by the time you are seeing uh, this video. However, I happened upon a little dungeon with a boss and an NPC. Now to me, as a veteran Souls player, fuck my camera's in a bad position. Give me one sec. Okay, I think that's more like it. Um, as a veteran Souls player, this looks very sorcery-ish to me. So let's talk to her. Hello there. What the hell? She's like the Statue of Liberty. S yeah, Selen. I want to learn sorcery. Yes. Let's see what she sells. Yeah, we're dumb as fuck. That, that's what she just said. She just roasted us. There hasn't been a sorcerer trainer ever in a Souls game that's not been exiled. Like, it's, it's just natural at this point. Glinstone sorcery, I mean, whatever. I think we'll be okay, thanks. Give scroll, give the royal house. Yeah, we picked this. I don't even remember where we picked this up. Well, let's, you know, yeah, let's give it to her. Sounds like a plan. We're like a Jedi now. Okay, what does she sell? Glintstone Pebble fires magic projectiles, so soul arrow. Ten int. I think we're at. I think we do have ten int. Fires shooting stars down that pursue foes. Cool. Fires horizontally widening magic arc. Cool, cool, cool. Crystal Barrage 23. Yeah, this is. This is one I want for sure. Magic weapon, magic shield, maybe. Uh, twelve, twelve. It's that's not terrible, and maybe this one. I don't really plan on going above like fifteen in, honestly. So yeah, Ugh, this is the problem though. Fuck, she doesn't sell a catalyst, does she? Shit. Well, whatever. Let's let's get what we need, and these things are kind of expensive. Uh, let's just get that. Just get the basics. Yeah, this is a bummer that she doesn't sell. Why is she like roasting me so much? Man, NPCs are cruel in this game. Shall we start learning? You're a bitch and you have no girlfriend. That's like the main theme of the NPC conversations so far. So yeah, we can't use any of that shit. Because again, I don't have a catalyst. Uh, that might be something I need to look up. And we can still get some levels. So we are getting a couple of points into intelligence. Strength, mm. maybe I think. Now we have enough endurance. I really don't know. I need to like figure out where the fucking claymore is, uh, and then we can get started. Like actually assembling our build. Whatever. I don't know if she's gonna go back to the what you call it. The round table hold, whatever. We'll see. Yeah, and I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this dungeon. This will be the la last dungeon or sort of like mini dungeon I'm going to clear out. Don't do the fucking gesture. Uh, because obviously where the sorcerer lady is, I can't open the map. I want to like demonstrate. 
Oh, fuck, seriously? You can't... Okay, hold on. Oh, it's because of these guys. Fuck, okay, well, I'll do my little demonstration later. So what I wanted to say is, obviously we have like this entire section of the map. Like moving on from Sorcerer Lady Celine. But I think it's safer to clear out this part of the map first, the actual castle. That really seems to be where the game is pushing us. So we'll, we'll go there. I want to like, I think how I'm planning on doing this. Oh shit. Okay, I'm not paying attention. How I'm planning on doing this is I want to try getting at least the first like major boss like Lord Soul or whatever uh, Rune Bearers or whatever they're calling this game. Okay, I think this is gonna be a reset or maybe not I need to put the fucking thing away uh, Before I like really start going to town on the map itself This is gonna be trap filled. This is a hundred percent. Yep, bros. I know a trap, and I see one. I'm gonna fucking hate this place. You should pay attention to your HP, Mr. Sketchhead. I survived with one HP, like I usually do, and then just fucked it up. Okay, so... Fucking hell. Man, they really, like, stun you. For a lot more than you would think. These, like, tiny-ass enemies. These are something straight out of... This is straight out of World of Warcraft, these guys. Don't you... Oh, shit. Damn. I just want to get my runes back. Is there friendly fire? Please tell me there is. Yes, there is. Fuck, it didn't even kill them. Well, whatever. Give me my shit, and this is gonna be the boss. I bet it's just gonna be like a bigger version of these guys. Like the boss or something. It's gonna be like the fat guy from Star Wars, you know, the Gungan, the fat Gungan. Why do I have that on my mind? <laughs> Out of all the possibilities, Star Wars Episode 1, I don't... Fuck, where did these... Unbelievable. Where the shit did, like, seven of them come from? This is kind of an annoying dungeon, not gonna lie. Oh, you're getting... You're getting critical, bitch. Actually, I've meant to say that uh, this rune that I have, or whatever, what is it called? Talisman is really useful, and I completely forgot I unlocked the second slot. Which... I think this is still the best one I have. I don't know why I'd want to enhance roars. I'm sure that's a useful thing. Fucking hell, this is annoying. Why are these guys so, like... I don't know. Okay, here we go. Finally. Managed to kill these two. I just this one that drops from above. Finally. Man, that took way more effort than I thought it would. We have the boss. There's an arrow sticking out of me. Stop doing it. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gesturing. Grey Warden Duelist. This is not what I expected. A giant dude with two hammers. Believe me. That is a cool weapon. Hades. Whoa, okay. That is stupid. Stupid heal. 
Mr. Sketchhead, what the shit are you doing? I'm assuming since this guy is humanoid. Yep, he don't like bleed, do he? No, you can't. It doesn't look like you can critical him. He activated his weapon art. Down to my last heal. Yep. I was just about to say that I think... A bleed should put me, like, right on the edge. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Jesus, bleed is so unbelievably strong in this game. It's insane. I don't think bleed has, bleed has been this strong since Dark Souls 1, where it was ridiculous and... Very, 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 like, I don't know, just like part of the meta. Now the question is... No, it doesn't. This is super disappointing, because I was just about to say, the question is, does it have the, the chains, and is it dual wieldable? And it doesn't, and that makes this thing shitty. Let's get out of here. That was a really annoying dungeon uh, because of those enemies. Holy shit, this guy looks cool. All right, let's head back to Stormvale Castle. Okay, it's time to move on. I uh, made it back to Stormvale Castle just after Margit. So, yeah, here we go. I think just to be on the safe side, I am going to re-equip my bow and arrow. And I am going to try... Shit. I don't have any items to craft more arrows, and I'm actually pretty goddamn low on arrows, so to speak. So whatever, we'll use this tactically now instead of as a main weapon, and we can go back to the round table hold anyways. And, oh shit, are they doing the, they're doing the Dark Souls 3 thing, where for some weird reason uh, you get a bonfire at the boss and then just like one straight after and that like is it just the things yeah it's just the flags because i thought that was a suspicious shadow anyways we might as well you can get back here okay even if we can't, I can always warp back. But you know what? Let's just... Come over here, would you? Oh, hey, there's a dude. Holy shit. Are you a Kami no one? I just have Star Wars on my mind today. Makes sense. They don't know about that giant fucking hole. Some guards they are. Is there a boombox attached to your neck? I think you do. Cool, peace out. Yeah, the thing is, again, I don't know where I'll be able to get uh, a catalyst. That's one of the things. But the other thing is, because this game is so huge, I don't really have to worry. Because, you know, always the thing that always is kind of a shame... Plus, don't tell me you can skip this boss. I mean, you skip Margit. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Okay. 
I was worried for a second. Uh, because, you know, the, with the other Souls games, there's always a worry that by the time you manage to assemble your, like, whole build, there's gonna be, like, two bosses left and that's it. But because this game is so huge, I don't really have to worry about anything. You know, I don't have to rush uh, getting any of the weapons I'm wanting to get, or, like, the sorceries or whatever. Because I'll have plenty of time to get my, like, levels set up and all that shit. I still want to have a look over here. Trian's Lily, cool. The only question is how you get in there. Or whatever, not to worry about that. Let's just go. I'm gonna take his recommendation for sure. Oh, you can summon... Shit. Don't tell me there's gonna be another boss here. I'm gonna get my knife out. Gonna be sneaky. Ruin fragments. Oh, it's a crafting item. Whatever. I still need to, like, figure out what everything is. This is cool. This is like we're going straight up Assassin's Creed up in here. Or Sekiro. Whatever. Can be Sekiro as well. Certainly looks like you can. Okay, maybe not. We're not that like much of a platforming god as in your character. Shit, fuck, okay, that scared me. But don't tell me the bald eagles are gonna be attacking us. That's a shame. The symbol of America, and you're forcing me to kill it. Okay. That was a lot of damage. Is there another fucking checkpoint right over there? Man, checkpoint checkpoints come by frequently in this game. And I need my other weapon for that, or use the projectile. Snipe this little... I said snipe this little bitch. How do you like this? You don't, do you? Cool. Stormhawk feathers. I feel like the shield is a probably a good thing to use against these things. Yeah, it's straight up another checkpoint. Look at that place. Holy fuck. That is so cool. That is totally, that is 100% some dragon area. Listen, I know about FromSoft games and dragon areas, and that, my friends, looks like a dragon area. If I've ever seen one. But that's really cool, you know. I'm sure I'm not the only one where, like, fucking hell. I was just about to say get parried. I had that set up so well. Fucking hell. This is why you this is why there's a checkpoint here. These guys like specifically trained to defend the wall or something. That's why they have those like blast swords. Man, missing that parry, or like, missing the repost, that's such a shame. So yeah, like, what I was gonna say is, you know, that one of my favorite things about Souls games is when you get to see some, like, distant, mysterious area, and you're wondering what's over there, and when you get to it. And these guys are, these boombox guys are hostile. And then you always are able to get to it, and that's the coolest part. And this game like really hammers that part home. Because of course the open world nature- oh hello there.
That is so strong. And it barely costs any FP. It's kind of crazy, actually. I'm glad I picked this weapon up. And I think it is a... I was just about to say. Oh yeah, you want some of that shit? That didn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. Still. These will. God, I, I kind of I love that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Dual daggers. Are dual daggers finally sick in this game? They've always been so underwhelming in other Souls games. I tried using them. Even in Dark Souls 3, I picked up that. Like bandit. I just realized that like dual bandit knife, whatever it's called. And it just ended up being super shitty. So maybe this is the game until they nerf bleed. Because I think if there's anything in the pipelines, it's nerfing bleed. Watch this. I'm a fucking master. Platforming master. Uh, until then, this does look sort of viable. Cool. There's a pretty strong chance that's an ambush. Or maybe just the way forward. Hey, did I miss some treasure? Hell yeah, I did. Not the best treasure, but still. Cutscene. What the hell was that? Did I? What what the hell was that? The screen went black and <laughs> all of a sudden, I didn't like accidentally skip the cutscene, did I? What the shit was that? It wasn't even a boss. Fuck, that's a long way. Okay, well. What can you do? Okay, let's let's try doing this again. Nah. No, nothing happens. Just a knight. A very aggressive knight. Fucking hell. Eat a backstab. Man, it's hard to do. Oh, fuck. Okay, got the heal off. Eat shit, bitch. Yeah, some of these attacks, I've noticed there is... Okay, I think that's going to be pretty important. I've noticed that there's a lot of forward momentum on many attacks. Like... It's a lot more difficult to judge sort of range sometimes. Just checking. Kurt Sword Talisman. Oh, interesting. Looks like something that would be in my ballpark. I know where that key goes, by the way. So yeah, it's a lot more difficult sometimes to judge range in this game. Or like the range of attacks. Enhances guard counters. That sounds very useful. Super, super useful. I'm betting. Yep. 
and I bet right. I do like this castle area so far, not gonna lie. Has a little bit of everything. Whoa, shit. <laughs> That just happened. That was that was a sketchhead classic if I've ever seen one. For sure. Luckily the game was nice enough to put my runes at the bottom of the ladder. But still, let's try not walking off the cliff this time around. That would be very, very convenient. And it just leads back there. I actually just could have skipped this entire... Oh, fucking... Are you a bitch? You wanna play like that? We can play like that. And I get HP back. How do you do gestures in this game? There it is. Do I have some like... No, I don't. Oh, he speaks? Damn. That's revenge. Silver pickled foot. This is, I'm never gonna use any of this shit. You know about me and using like random ass souls items. I'm not the best at it. God, this place looks absolutely awesome. That castle in the distance is so cool. That's like... Yeah, that's that area. It's not that far away. It looks like... It looks like it's farther away than it actually probably is. The question is... When are we gonna get there? What the hell happened to this castle here? Interestingly, it looks like there's like giant cannon holes blasted into it. Huh. Alright, Elden Ring. Keep up the intrigue, please. One thing I noticed... One thing I noticed and I didn't really like talk about... Running doesn't actually take stamina in this game. This is such a bad place to fight this guy. Yeah. Sort of predictable. I should have just... Yeah, I shouldn't have gone down the stairs. That was stupid. See, initially I was gonna bitch about how long this run back is, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, where is Mr. Knight? He's just patrolling around. And... You can bet your ass that I'm more prepared for him. Is he fucking coming this way? Okay, no. I've played Sekiro. Get on my level. Fuck. He's spinning. No, don't go this way. Do this. Yeah, that is, that is super strong. Think against like these humanoid type enemies. This is the meta, pretty much. Cool. Let's switch to a less like fucking cheesy weapon. Uh, that is 100% an elevator. Maybe it's a shortcut. Oh, that's an armor. I thought there was a guy around the corner, which would have been, like, to be fair. Okay. To be fair, that would have been a fair sort of worry to have, right? 
Is this where the castle opens up? Nice, 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 nice. I was just about to say, like, now would be just about the appropriate time for us to have a checkpoint. I'm gonna check how many souls I have in just a second. 3,000, so probably not enough to level up, but... Holy shit. Look at this place. This castle looks pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. I know I'm just like like constantly gushing over this game, but man. It hasn't given me a reason not to gush, really. Yeah, these are a hundred percent all shortcuts. It's gonna this is gonna be like a classic Souls dungeon. Which you know they did say they will have. Like it's the idea behind this game has always been Oh fuck. You wanna go, bitch? We can go. Think I won that one. I picked up some weapon. Maybe just a spear, right? Yeah, just a spear. Okay. I'm just gonna say I wanted to explore around. But yeah, generally the very initial idea of this game has always been about Souls experience, like keeping the classic Souls experience of dungeons, but also combining it with the open world. But you know, I'm gonna... That is not a good thing. No, fuck, don't do the gestures. It's the stupid motion controls. Uh, I'm gonna cover all of this in my review, don't worry. Which is why you should stay in tune for that. Stay tuned for that, can't even talk. Or if it hasn't come out yet, you know, I mean, or it, if it has come out yet, I really am losing it. Uh, go and watch it. Probably would be a smart move to start selling my shit. Which is something I never take, like, advantage of. I'm gonna ask, like, what is the point of this place? Aside from... That has to be it, right? For you to platform down. The question is which way... We really are assassins creating this shit. I mean, this feels like I'm going out of bounds. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not. Because there's treasure there. And where there's treasure, you're meant to go. Nice. This is so cool. Ooh. You guys know with me being as like bad around cliffs as I am this is not the most ideal place to be fucking out like when did you ever expect to have platforming this good in a souls game and you know I mean obviously you're gonna say Sekiro sure Sekiro is Sekiro But, you know, that was sort of its own thing. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Heal, bitch. I should be using this more as well. It is so strong. momentum on it and all this crazy sh crazy shit the issue is that now I'm pretty much completely lost 
uh, I have like no semblance of where exactly I am in this castle. Not that that's a problem. I'm assuming. No, you kind of do have a map. <coughs> down there maybe or towards this way this way looks interesting at least there's treasure i've been going for a long time why is the bird the most stressful enemy in this area can i hit you It is not easy to hit these things. He's doing a fucking yoga flame. Yeah, the bird. The bird's kind of a bitch. Uh, maybe locking on would be smarter. But really, the smartest thing here would be to wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. How the fuck am I gonna find my way back there? It's there. Like, there it is. You just gotta Assassin's Creed it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this part, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care and goodbye.